Dear students, today we will see how to design the transformer using multi space. Let me share some ideas about the transformer. Here you have a two things one is the primary winding, another is the secondary winding. Right? In primary winding, you have a n number of turns that is technically we used to say NP. In the secondary winding, you have a n number of turns technically we used to say NS. Here you want to know two things. One is a step up, step down. Based on the application, we want to prefer. When you take step up, what do you mean by step up? Compared to primary voltage, the secondary voltage will be larger. That is a step up. So what is the condition? That is NP should be less than, NP should be less than NS. That means NS is greater, number of turns is greater. So that condition will be used for step up. When you go for step down, NP will be greater than N2. That means number of turns in the second remaining part is less. This is the two case you want to understand. Okay, when N equal to 1, that means N only equal to N2. That means uh, ideal, both are same. Okay, so we can take any case. Today we will see like a n equal to 1. That means n1 and n2 both are same I am going to consider. Why? The reason is the today objective is I want to share how to design the that is a transformer with the different phase shift. That means your voltage which is observed in the primary and the secondary voltage whether you have phase shift or not. For some application you want a phase shift, for some application you don't want phase shift. So how you can design in the LT space that we will see in this today lecture. Okay, and also I will give some important command for design the transformer. So that I will say the reason also why that command is used. Okay, so let me take first one inductor. This is a primary and I want to keep a secondary one, right? So I want to take a complete mirror intent. Case 1, suppose I want to have an in-phase, like a, your both primary and second should be in-phase means you want to do the intent, mirror intent. Okay, suppose I want a phase shifter, like a, between the input and the output, that is the primary and the secondary means, you should rotate 180 degree. That is a condition to design the transformer for the different phase or condition. First, I will do the case one with the in-phase condition. That is primary and secondary voltage is going to be in-phase. For that, you want to go for the in-phase. Okay, so you just take a mirror intent and keep it down. Okay, that's it. Now, I will be taking your signal. Signal that is, signal. just keep on the left side. And you can keep what upside okay now let me keep on resistor to see the drop voltage okay now let me complete the circuit Okay, now let me change the values. So default here is 0, 1, 1k. So for me, I'll just take it as a 230k C voltage. It is a voltage range which we are using in India, right? So in the frequency 50 hertz. Okay, so as I said earlier, the coil is used, copper coil is used. So even the copper coil will have some negligible resistance, even it is a conductor, right? So that should be incorporated. That is like a, here you should add in this parasitic 0 0.01 0 0.001 okay so let me keep it down okay now so what i'm going to do is let me change the value of the resistor one key okay so then uh, i will just give an inductance value 3 millihenry as I said earlier, I am going to consider both the same 
n values okay that means i am taking the condition of n1 equal to n2 you can take anything okay either step up or step down i already said how to do it right so if you want to do so let me take this down if you want to step up what you want to do is here should be larger inductance value if you want to do step down okay here it should be less okay that's what i said when you want to go for step up n p should be less than n s when you go for a step down n p should be greater than n s so that is a condition you want to maintain okay now i want to make a mutual coupling between the primary and the secondary value how for that you want, what you want to do is go here go to the draft spice direct just type a command k lp whatever is given name for primary winding same you want to give otherwise the command will not work right one okay now what is the one actually this is very important actually many students they not understanding what do you mean by one why here it is given one actually the last number is a mutual coupling coefficient the last number this one is a mutual coefficient it can be either zero or one please understand it can be either zero or one when i keep one in the lt space it means that it's a perfect coupling perfect coupling no leakage inductance no leakage inductance between the inductor that is a one okay that is the meaning of one it can be either zero or one in the lt space we will be using one only for mutual coupling no leakage inductance based on the scenario you can use either zero or one okay now here you can see the coupling has not been done properly there is a fault what is a fault you can understand easily because here i have given lp and ls for primary and secondary here you can see here when you see the dot is not locked see when dot is not locked first i let me show the face dot then we see when just do the right click see the dot is not locked that means the coupling is not being completed has not been happened what you want to do is i want to change this l1 to lp already i said right so you want to use same name then only this command will work see now let me see see it is locked that means coupling has been happened there is no fault here now we will see the what is the output okay the transformers work is completed i have made a primary winding and secondary winding then i have made a mutual coupling with the factor of 1 okay let me save and run it so i'll be given the 30 milliseconds okay so the fault is next fault so ground obviously ground to complete the circuit so now we will be getting your output see when you see the primary you can see it was perfectly to 30 volt you will be getting now wait let me see the secondary see see it is a current actually so that is a phase see i want to see the voltage right so i will delete this trace so here if you measure see both are in line so that means uh, let me take another plot pen and i will keep up so you can see both are in phase so please understand when you want to design the in phase between the primary and secondary coupling voltage your dot should be appear in the down in the lt space okay for case 2 when you want to have a phase shift between the primary and secondary coupling voltage the dot should appear in the top that means you want to rotate your inductor two time that is 180 degree let me show for case 2 so i will remove it and take a inductor and i will rotate two times 1 2 and i'll change the name this is to l1 to ls then this is 3 milli henry here i consider both n1 into our same okay now let me run see you can see here the phase shift 
you can see this is a like a input and this is a output you can see there is a phase shift between the primary voltage and the secondary voltage okay so here i have seen two cases case 1 and case 2 in the case 1 the primary voltage and the secondary coupled voltage both are in phase the case 2 primary voltage and the secondary voltage are out of phase so this is the two thing you want to understand